from text heard. Are you ready? Kids, look at this picture. What can you say about the picture? Yes, it is a clear blue ocean. What sea creatures live in the ocean? You're right. Sharks, dolphins, fishes, and many more. Don't you know that others believe that mermaids are real and they live in the ocean? Have you ever seen a mermaid? Mermaids are said to be beautiful women that can attract men and make them fall in love. Today, I am going to tell you a thrilling story titled The Mermaid. Let's find out what happened to Roberto as he dived into the sea. But before that, let's have a word game. In this game, I want you to help me arrange the jumbled letters from its given meaning. First word, it is a small town in the country. Person who works very hard. Third word, it means great value. Fourth word, it is a fable marine creature with the head and upper body of a woman and a tail of a fish. Fifth word, it means to draw closer to. What is your score? I know you did well in the activity. You are now ready to get to know the story, The Mermaid. Roberto and his father lived in a fishing village near the Agno River. They were industrious fishermen. One day, as they were fishing, Roberto's father could not pull the net. There's someone holding our net, said his father. Roberto dived into the sea. He went down into the deep sea ocean. He reached and entered the cave. There were golds, diamonds, pearls, and other precious stones hanging on the wall of the cave. I am Lita, the mermaid, she said. A witch changed me into a mermaid to guard these beautiful treasures. I gave a good catch every day, but this morning I held your net. Roberto was attracted by the beauty of Lita in spite of her being a mermaid. Will you go with me? Roberto told her. Yes, she answered. Then Roberto approached and kissed her. Alas, the mermaid turned into a beautiful lady. What is the source of living of Roberto and his father? Yes, the source of living of Roberto and his father is fishing. How did the people describe Roberto and his father? Correct! Roberto and his father are industrious. What happened in the net when they pulled it out? They couldn't pull the net out because there was something holding it. Where did Roberto dive? Good! Roberto dived into the sea and went down into the deep ocean. 
What did Roberto see in the cave? Roberto saw gold, diamonds, pearls, and other precious stones hanging in the wall of the cave. He also saw a beautiful lady sitting in one corner of the cave. Why did Lita become a mermaid? The witch changed Lita into a mermaid in order to guard the beautiful treasures in the ocean. Great job, kids! How did you find out the answers to the questions that I asked? Yes! Now, listen as I give you the steps in noting down relevant information from the text heard. First, listen attentively to the text being read by the teacher. Second, listen to the questions intently. Third, list relevant details. Fourth, put details together in order to answer the questions. Fifth, determine what the details mean. This time, let us answer these activities. You will be needing a pen and paper. Let's start! Arrange the steps in noting down relevant information from text heard. Number them from 1 to 5. Write your answers on the spaces provided. Very good! You are attentive listeners indeed. Let us move to the next activity. Listen as I read to you the text. Be ready to answer the questions that follow. All about bluebirds. Bluebirds can be found in the most area of the United States. Like other members of the thrush family of birds, young bluebirds have speckled breasts. These make them difficult to see and help them hide from enemies. The pilgrims called them blue robins because they were much like the English robin. They are the same size and have the same red breasts and friendly song as the English robin. This time, we read the text together. Let's begin! All about bluebirds. Bluebirds can be found in the most area of the United States. Like other members of the thrush family of birds, young bluebirds have speckled breasts. These make them difficult to see and help them hide from enemies. The pilgrims called them blue robins because they were much like the English robin. They are the same size and have the same red breasts and friendly song as the English robin. In what country can we find bluebirds? Correct! We can find bluebirds in the United States. What do young bluebirds have just like other members of the thrush family of birds? Awesome! They have speckled breasts. What is the purpose of the young bluebird's speckled breast? Good! These make them difficult to see and help them hide from enemies. What did the pilgrims call them? You are right! Pilgrims called them blue robins. How were bluebirds alike with the English robin? Bluebirds are like English robins because they are of the same size and have the same red breasts. Well done, kids! To understand more, let us go through another activity. Listen as I read to you the text and be ready to answer the questions that follow. COVID-19 in the Philippines 
The coronavirus disease or COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus. This new virus was unknown before the outbreak began in Wuhan, China in December 2019. On January 30, 2020, the Philippine Department of Health reported the first case of COVID-19 in the country with a 38-year-old female Chinese national. On March 2, 2020, the first local transmission of COVID-19 was confirmed. WHO is working closely with the Department of Health in responding to the COVID-19 outbreak. This time, you will read the text by yourself. What is a coronavirus disease? Where did it originate? When was the first case reported in the Philippines? How did the disease reach our country? What is the paragraph all about? What is your score? If you got 5, excellent! If your score is 3 or 4, good! To and below, please focus more on the next activity. Kids, today we have learned the steps in noting down relevant information from the text heard. How did you come up with your answers? Yes, by listening attentively. Listening attentively is a skill that each one of us has to acquire in order to be able to relay accurate and relevant pieces of information that need to be known by the receivers. This time, let us apply our knowledge on noting down relevant information from the text heard. Listen carefully as I read the story, then answer the questions that follow. A Trip for Mike and Spike by Robert Charles Mike and Spike were bright mice. They were always side by side. One day, Mike asked Spike if he would like to take a trip. Mike said they could go to nice sites. They could also dine in fine places. We have to find time to make money for our trip, said Spike. So Mike and Spike got a job. They picked ripe limes. They picked from 9 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. They also helped make a fine lime drink. They sliced a pile of limes. They got a nice prize for their work. Mike and Spike bought a bike for their trip. They biked miles and miles to visit different places. They dined on fine rice and fine dishes. Life was nice for the mice. They liked the trip they had. At this point, let us read the text together. A Trip for Mike and Spike by Robert Charles Mike and Spike were bright mice. They were always side by side. One day, Mike asked Spike if he would like to take a trip. Mike said they could go to nice sites. 
they could also dine in fine places. We have to find time to make money for our trip, said Spike. So Mike and Spike got a job. They picked gripe lines. They picked from 9 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. They also helped make a fine lime drink. They sliced a pile of limes. They got a nice prize for their work. Mike and Spike bought a bike for their trip. They biked miles and miles to visit different places. They dined on fine rice and fine dishes. Life was nice for the mice. They liked the trip they had. First question. Who are the bright mice? Second question. What animals are they? Third question. How is the mice described? Fourth question. What do they do before going to a trip? Fifth question. What kind of trip do they have? What is your score? If you get five, you did great. If your score is three or four, good. Two and below, please study more. If you have questions regarding the topic we have discussed today, contact the number of your teacher found in your instructional kit. Or you could email or send message via messenger or SMS. Good news! You can now view this video through our YouTube channel. Search RLTV Deped Leite, press like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Today, we learned how to note down relevant information from text heard. Kids, let us remember that listening attentively is very important in noting down relevant information. I hope you learned from what we have discussed today. This is your teacher, Krisha, encouraging you to enjoy learning English. See you next time. Goodbye!